Welcome to your Tutor Online video lessons. My name is Joel, and today's question comes from David, who asks, can you show me how to factor 3x squared plus 6 is equal to 0? Well, first he asked this question on my video about a special technique for factoring quadratic equations when the first term is not 1. And it looks like this example fits that pattern, um, but it does not, because the c term here is 0. For that kind of problem, the method I show in the video with um, the a term being not 1 does not work here. Besides, you want to start with the most simple factor method possible. In this case, we're just going to simply look for like terms that can come out of each of the terms we see here. Here we're asking what goes into 30x squared that also goes into 6x. Well, let me just make a little bit of space here and 6x goes into both 30x squared and 6x. So we're going to write that to the outside. We're going to add a parenthesis and ask 6x times what gives us 30x squared. And we end up with 5x. 6 times 5 is 30, x times x is x squared. Go on to the next term. We keep the sign that's in front positive. 6x times 1 gives us 6x is all equal to 0. Now that it's fully factored, let's go ahead and take it one step further and solve for 0. We know that anything times 0 is 0, so we only need either this first term or the second term to be 0 for the whole thing to be 0. So to do that, we're going to break it into two separate equations, because if 6x is equal to 0, or the parenthesis 5x plus 1 is equal to 0, then this whole thing is equal to 0. 0 divided by 6 is 0. Subtract 1 from both sides over here, negative 1. And x is equal to negative 1 over 5. So we have two answers. x is 0 or x is negative uh, 1 over 5. I'm sorry, it should be an and. We have two answers because this is a parabola. So 0 and negative 1, uh, negative 1 fifth. All right, thanks, David, for asking that question. Uh, you can ask questions, too, for uh, this video blog. Just leave a comment or send an email, uh, joel at yourtutoronline.com. Um, I will see you next time. If these videos are helpful, please share them with your classmates.